Welcome to FS17 on the Score Farms map. Today we'll be upgrading the landscaping shop. We'll be purchasing a few new dump trucks, a few excavators, and a play compactor. We'll be making our way over to the shop here in our 2018 GMC 2500 HD Duramax Denali. This truck is fully loaded and it's a great daily driver here for this series along with our 2015 F-150 which is right next to this. So today is a very exciting day. I've been featured too many landscaping videos here on the channel in the last few weeks and we only have a month month and a half left here in the season before winter uh, comes along and we switch over to snow plowing because uh, the ground will freeze and everything like that so this will be pretty interesting what we'll be doing here for the last month and a half uh, of our season it's going to be a very busy time we do have lots of jobs that we recently just got here for the company and it does require some new equipment and I actually did put a bid in on an older excavator and we actually got the bid so we are picking that up as well as a new Kubota excavator with a very interesting logging claw on it doesn't have a bucket it has a logging claw but that will come in very handy for one of our upcoming landscaping projects so we have a lot of things to do but before we kind of go over there get all of this new equipment I would like to organize our shop just a little bit it's going to make it a little bit easier here for us I actually kind of like the trucks parked here this looks awesome we'll get both of these doors opened up and we are trading in it the f550 rack body over here here and we are getting a 2019 Chevy 4500 Mason dump truck along with a 4500 flatbed so that's going to be pretty cool we need much stronger trucks for our upcoming projects as well so we'll move this out and this will be traded in a little bit later on today we aren't trading any equipment in it and that's also usually something we would do but we are just adding equipment onto it which isn't that bad and I really do like the shop so far so let's hop here in the F550 and for now we'll just move it to the other side and yeah it should work over there and what we will most likely do is we'll park our 04 Duramax outside so it's usually I keep everything indoors but why not I'll park that outside and we aren't trading in any plows we'll be keeping them and uh, we'll just get the plow mount on our other trucks We'll get back in here. That looks good there. And I really do enjoy doing these upgrade videos here for all of the different shops. If you do have any cool feedback, please let me know down below in the comments. Your feedback really helps out this series and all of the uh, daily videos in general, which is pretty exciting. And I was looking into trading this in, but I just really like the truck a lot. And I don't want to trade it in yet. So let me know your feedback there. And I think we'll probably just hop in this and we'll move it over here to the other side. This is is, uh, one of our popular daily trucks for the company it's a perfect one so we'll move this over here and then up next we recently just got shelving in our shop you guys can see it over there so take a look at that we'll actually just walk around it's going to be a bit easier so we got all this shelving we got two very big shelves and then we got one over here a bit smaller so what we'll do is we'll kind of move those around because I want to put all of these on the shelf it's going to make our shop a lot cleaner and just make it look better in general so let's do that before before we do any upgrades and this is a bit of like a shop organization which is always nice to do it's nice to keep everything looking nice and when everything is kept up and in good condition we have less breakdowns and we could keep inventory on what attachments we have in uh, everything like that and we do sometimes uh, lend these to our um, competition if they give us a little fee we'll do it in some of these bigger attachments I do want to put up top as you guys have seen there now we do actually have a jackhammer attachment so I would like to try to put that uh, pretty high up as well we don't really use that too much I really do like the landscaping series and we've been so busy with a lot of our other series that we've been unable to do too much of it but we do have a lot coming soon not sure exactly why that's not sitting level but that's fine and I'm using the 863 it's a little bit easier to move around just in the shop that's a pretty big bucket whoa we forgot to trade them but I think that works on the cat there so we'll keep the cat and uh, we'll probably uh, bring the fork over here just kind of set it down I want this to be pretty accessible with all of our pallets It does fit here on the skid seer, but like I've touched upon in a previous video, we could have a big bucket on the front. It might not be too realistic, and sometimes the skid seer won't have the hydraulic lift power needed 
for the bucket and yeah that's not going to go up there that's okay we could probably fit it next to the other one that would actually be ideal and that's pretty cool now these shelving i got off the lawn care map from fs15 i really do like these a lot they're just awesome awesome in general and they do look pretty cool so there we go we got all of those in place now we do have this one last one we could put on our other shelf and it does free up quite a bit of a room over here which is good because we have more equipment coming and more trucks and we just keep getting things and i have been getting some requests as well to uh, get a new shop here for this series i'm not sure if we want to do that just because i kind of like having a smaller uh shop that fits everything i kind of like it let me know your feedback now this case we'll be using for a little bit longer but we might end up uh selling it let me know your feedback i haven't used it too much and i don't think it's too reliable it's just way too old and a, a few things like that but here it is guys that is it for uh, the organization will close these doors. Let's go get our brand new truck and let's go trade in the rack body. I think we'll go get the uh, bigger of the two. We'll get the mason dump first and then we'll come back, hop in our uh, 04 Duramax and we'll uh, go get the other one. Now this is a pretty cool truck. Really do like it a lot, but I just want something a little, little bit bigger. Uh, can haul a little bit more and tow more as well and uh that's pretty cool and we did get a package deal as well with two forty five hundreds, which is pretty cool and this truck was released by wood metal farming so big shout out goes out to them all of the public mods will be down below i hope all of you guys are having a great start to the school year it's been a pretty year and i just can't wait to do all of the cool things planned here for the channel and we do have some upcoming mod releases as well so we'll first take a look here at both of these mods they're both 2019 chevy 45 on just one's a crew cab here and then the other is a regular cab here i do have some touch-ups to do on it other than that uh we'll be taking this one home first and this is pretty cool we got a flatbed it i got the fenders on it and all matching black to be pretty realistic for a company we didn't want to get a top trim uh, that isn't too realistic here so we'll hop here in the 4500 mason dump and this holds quite a bit more much stronger bed than our f550 and a guitar more so it does a lot of things at once and i think we'll go get our excavators and things with our uh, new flatbed i think that that's a little bit easier to maneuver around so we'll go with those I can't wait for FS19 coming out on November 20th. It's going to be one epic game. I actually recently featured our first video here with Forza Horizon on the channel. Let me know if you guys liked it. I do plan on doing more with that game because that is one amazing game. And I think uh, there's lots of potential with that game as well, which is very nice. We'll back this in. Both Mason Dumb Trucks will be kind of against the wall, which is fine and that looks good there yeah awesome and like i've touched on we'll hop here in the 04 we aren't trading it in uh we are just using it as transportation to get there and that is okay i'm actually thinking before we do go get that 4500 i want to go get our uh older excavator that we just purchased it does have a lot of wear and tear on it but it can still do the job here for us which is nice and then we'll uh, go with a new truck to get some of the other equipment and upgrades. One of the biggest reasons why I wanted to keep this truck here for the company is this first person view. It is just amazing. And I'm trying to get more uh, trucks with first person views as well. Interiors just to help out with the realism and have the detailed quality and everything about these mods to look uh, really good. So the shop is just uh, around the corner. Uh, to the left. Usually I like to buy equipment new, but I saw this online for a really good price and I thought why not get it if we are able to get it and the uh, customer was able uh, to agree and uh, yes, we are the customers and the buyer agreed to it, but that's okay and uh, he either would have uh, had to keep it or uh, sold it for probably uh, much lower price but here it is guys it's pretty old a lot of wear and tear on it but it will do the job and this is good to take to some of the job sites where uh, we just need more equipment and uh, we do have quite a lot of small excavators like this but they do the job and I mean this is probably the biggest excavation we do other than with our backhoe but uh, I thought that this would be perfect for the company 
Awesome, so we got that loaded up here, and one of the things that I wanted to try to do is feature new trucks with old trucks. As you guys can see, we have a 2019 4500, but we also have a uh, 04 Duramax as well. We'll just kind of come out over here. Usually, there was an exit on the latest version of the beta, and I am working on version 1 as well, and all the other mods, including the train cut and the compact tractors, but usually companies will have a mixture of new equipment, old equipment, new trucks, old trucks, and I'm just trying to do that as well to help with a variety for all the videos and things we do. Next, we'll be going over and getting the 4500. I want to get that as soon as possible. It's going to be one very nice truck. I can't wait to do it, uh, a lot of work with it, and uh, just go around town driving a very nice, uh, very powerful and strong truck in general. So we'll come over here, open up the door, and like I've touched on, I don't think we will be switching shops. I really like the shop in general, but let me know your feedback. Now, we actually do have a excavator over there it's a brand new bobcat so it's nice to have an older one as well it's going to come in pretty handy we'll get turned around here and keep in mind we still do have the back over there was a pretty big excavation arm over there which we kind of do use quite a lot so we'll just lower the hydraulics down I don't want to put too much equipment over here in general so that we can still uh, get to all of those so we'll probably keep the trailer here actually we'll just uh, we could actually bring it with us yeah that would save us a little bit of time and we'll go over and get the new truck If you do have any cool maps you guys would like me to use here for videos, please let me know down below in the comments. I'm currently looking for a good map for our new farming series. I got all the tractors, all the equipment ready to go, and it is quite a lot of high quality mods in general, which is pretty cool. But I want to find a really good map that is kind of a small farm field since it will be single player. We don't want giant fields where uh, just me in the video won't be able to handle those fields and a smaller fields, a uh, smaller uh, map in general would be a lot easier to farm with and do a bigger variety of things including animals without uh, struggling to keep up with the demand of a big harvest and things like that. But we are arriving back here which is nice and we are going to be taking home that brand new 4500 now. We are going to be coming back a little bit later on today for this uh, 04 Duramax because we are keeping that out. That is probably one truck we'll probably just keep. I was thinking about trading in, but the more and more I drive it, I just really do like it a lot. So we'll turn on these uh, daytime running lights. I really just like those a lot. And we'll head over to the store to pick up the new uh, Kubota. And we are also picking up a play compactor. Once again, we got a package deal. I always do like getting deals on equipment. And he threw it in, and he gave us both for a really good price, which is much appreciated. We'll definitely be buying many more pieces of equipment from this company. And I would like to thank each and every one of you for all of the continued support here on the daily videos. It's a lot of fun to upload every single day to YouTube, and you guys are the ones that are making it possible, and it just means a lot to me. Uh, making videos is a very fun thing for me to do. I really do enjoy it, and then interacting with all of you guys on a day-to-day -day basis is also quite a lot of fun. So we are actually getting that started up now. We'll hop here in the Kubota. We'll get both warmed up, and we are now here in the Play Compactor. Now, this is a pretty cool mod. I haven't featured it in too many videos, but the video I did feature it in, a lot of you guys really did like it, which is exciting, uh, using new equipment and like that. And like I've touched on, guys, I will be looking to getting a bucket for this, but for now, uh, this will actually do uh, pretty good for us. We want to lift this up. Awesome, we'll lift that up, help us out getting up the trailer. We'll have to move that to the side, but wow, everything does fit, which is good. And like I've touched on, we do have some pretty cool upcoming landscaping projects that are one of a kind and that are very unique here, which is pretty exciting. I always do like producing unique content ones that are very cool things, and uh, having custom mods as well does help out uh, with all of the uniqueness to my videos. This 4500 here is a crew cab, which makes the truck a little bit longer. I was debating, do we get a regular cab 
uh, as well for this, but I thought, why not we switch it up and get a crew cab, and sometimes we will have a few employees with us, and I do have some multiplayer videos to come as well. I've been working on them, and I do have some very cool ideas, almost losing that play compactor. I knew that that was going to happen, but looks like we are good there, so we'll get uh, this trailer unloaded, and this truck might not fit on the inside of the garage, I just realized. It might cause a few problems for us. We'll have to kind of look into it. Now this is one awesome Kubota, I really do like it a lot, you guys can see this is pretty cool, I really would like a bucket attachment as well, or to switch between the two, that would be very helpful. We'll get this backed in here, we'll get that lowered down, just enough to take the hydraulic pressure off it, that's one thing I always like to do, and where can we put this, we'll just put it behind the backhoe. It does take a little bit to turn on, but I really do like this plate compactor in general. It does work as well, which is pretty cool. Compacts the ground, and we'll put it behind the back, or even just over here, out of the way, will be a good area. Yeah, wow, actually fits pretty good right there. Now let's kind of see the big thing is, will this fit inside our garage here? It is a brand new truck. It's a pretty long one as well. Maybe. If the snow plows weren't there, it would have fit, but from the looks of it, uh, this won't fit in our garage, which uh, might be a bit of a problem, but for now, we could tuck it away in here if we needed to, but let's give it a try, and not sure what's going to happen here. And take a look, that guy's just enough room here for this truck to park in side, which is very exciting. Let's kind of see, take a look, that the hitch is right there at the bumper, so wow, that is a very tight fit. Let's just come back here, take a look, and I'm not sure exactly what happened here to this snow plow. I will have to look into that, but you guys didn't see today was a very successful upgrade video for us. Uh, we were able to get lots of equipment for our landscaping shop to finish out this last month month and a half of the landscaping season. I will be hopping back here in the GMC Denali and I will be making our way back over to the house and then a little bit later on I will get the 04 Duramax when one of our employees comes by. But thanks for watching, have a great day and subscribe for more.